Oh well, my name is Joe. I'm doing a review of the Kong 70 cooler. It's a roto molded cooler competing with the likes of Pelican, Otterbox, Yeti, and such. They're made in the United States in Ridgefield, Washington. I've had this cooler with ice in it now for five days. Exposing it to many different conditions. I've been opening the cooler daily. I've been using it. I uh, went fishing out in the Columbia River, left the cooler in the hot car. Um, in extreme heat. I have my uh, Traeger grill thermometer here showing 102 Fahrenheit. The surface temperature just jumped up to 103. So the outside of the cooler is very warm. So like I said, five days in this uh, hot weather. Then opened up daily. I've thrown warm drinks in there to cool them off. We're showing a little bit of ice inside. There's this divider. It doubles as a cutting board in the cooler. On one side of it is just water. It's very cold. And on the other side is ice. There's quite a bit of ice left. The cutting board divider can come out. It uses a cutting board. Also sits in the cooler as a shelf so you could keep ingredients dry. And you can get extra dividers. Kong Cooler has a nice seal. I picked it up at the factory when I ordered it. It's uh, close to my house and I was watching them drop one 30 feet from a cherry picker and uh, hit asphalt and didn't break. They're an impressive cooler and like I said five days, full five days, five 24 hour periods and we still got some ice in there. It wasn't full of ice. It'll hold seven bags. Still be usable. I had three bags in here and that's what's left. So I'm gonna do a longer review with longer ice retention. I'm also gonna use it to keep food hot. So you'll see me be seeing those two reviews coming up soon. Thanks for watching.